Yo, what's up, my dudes? And welcome out to Papa's house. Today in Papa's house, we have, well, another episode of the Papa Lock. And, well, this person who is on the Papa Lock today is someone who shares a similar idea as myself. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to go too far into it because, well, I don't want to explore everything. But needless to say, let me say, this man has energy that is beyond any typical normal streamer. Like, I hate to say it, like, you know, there's a lot of good streamers out there, but this guy's energy, his level, it's up there, man. And you just get hyped, you get pumped every time you go and see him. He's like, I don't know, he's got this je ne sais quoi, as it were. But I'm not going to go too much into things, because let's face it, y'all need to go ahead and go see that episode. So make sure you hit that like, that sub if you're new. P tell me about the episode down Papa Space. And well, without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the episode. What's up, my dudes? And welcome out to Papa's house. Today, we are in another episode of the Papa Lock. And with us today, we have a man who really embodies the steel ideal. That being said, I'm going to go introduce our boy, Metamech. Metamech, how you doing, my dude? How's everything going? I am doing fantastic. Thank you so much, Papa Agron, for inviting me to be a part of this epic Papa Lock. Uh, you are a great man. You make some great content. Love being here once again. Uh, just thank you for allowing me to be here. But yes, yeah, steel types for life, baby. Whoa! Steel types all day, every day. <laughs> steel type hype up in here. All right. So uh, we're going to go quick do our little uh, song and dance of the team recap where I'm not going to read anything out because, well, let's face it. That's how we roll. But uh, we'll. Yeah. this saves more time for us to be able to conversate and everything else. No and, like, doubt. Explore the steel ideal euphorisms and stuff so <laughs> for sure <laughs> that being said uh like well we already know steel type is best type but uh <laughs> your yep. mascot is what what metagross yep metagross for sure one of the best steel types for sure for i don't sure. know they're all so good it's tough to pick a favorite but he's for sure good hundred percent so what made you like uh metagross well you know it's it's a fun it's a funny story i just i loved steel type but and i and i like metagross but really actually my love for steel type and metagross is really it was just kind of like there but then after i took after i started my channel it like that's where it really went it wasn't like i wouldn't even have said that he was really one of my favorites until you know i started my channel with him and everything and i just kind of worked um, you know, mech is like a, a nudge to my last name, which I'm not going to say, <laughs> but, uh, and then meta metal, it works with like meta gaming, it works with steel type. And I just thought it was perfect. Meta gross pseudo legendary, epic, powerful mon from gen three. Why not? I'm not going to lie. It's clean. I like it. It flows. <laughs> I'm glad as, you're digging it. Hey, it flows as well as Papa Agro. And I'm just saying, like, it has that certain. Yeah, genesis, man. Like, I mean, it's like <laughs> Papa Agro's like right here. Metamex like right here, to be completely honest. But you know what? I'm glad. Well, well I don't know about that so much. Like, I would say, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'd say you're probably maybe a little bit ahead and everything else. Yeah, I mean, it's cl it's close. We'll agree to that. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I. I don't know. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's just leave it at that. So, uh, that being the case, we've covered one of your, I guess you'd say your mascot at this point. Um, mm -hmm. By the way, we're just going to go ahead and go into the uh, burn down mansion and do all this kind of stuff. Uh, For sure. What all stuff do you have going on the channel right now? Well, right now, I'm glad you asked. I am doing a Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke. And having a lot of fun in that. The game is uh, definitely sending me its challenges, as they always seem to do. And, and the randomizer knows luck. Um, you know what? Well, sometimes I wish my Pokemon had a better trainer, to be completely honest. <laughs> <laughs> I can, you know, I, uh, I can relate. I'm also, yeah, I'm also doing a Pokemon Dark Rising Nuzlocke live series. And, um, you know, that's 
a lot of fun. And for those of you that may or may not know what Pokemon Dark Rising is, but you should, because this man himself is also doing it, is an insanely difficult ROM hack. And that that only equates to more Pokemon deaths. So, you know, but it, it's given me lots of challenges, but I love doing it. And those are the active things I have going on my channel at the moment. Right on, right on. I'm digging it. Um, so, quick question. You okay. uploaded the Black Series actually earlier today, right? Yes, I did. Episode 10, I believe. Your boy got it in his, his, his feed. He just hadn't checked it out yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're ringing, you're ringing that bell? I, I appreciate that, man. I can feel it in my soul. <laughs> Every time that bell rings for you, I can feel it right here. <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad that we didn't switch out to somebody. I didn't know if he was going to have Waterfall yet. <laughs> Holy cow, I wasn't even paying attention, man. I'm guessing I'm going to have the sake of your mons. <laughs> You know what? I might, I might just have you like, like just hand over the control. I just might, like, here you go, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. We'll do it right through the screen. Woo! <laughs> I hope you guys uh, enjoy very tedious episodes where, all right, down, down, left, right, A B A B, select start. Going back to heal. That's a safe thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't even know if I have potions, to be honest with you. I didn't check the inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Well, I mean, it just shows my experience as a Pokemon trainer, right? <laughs> you're, you're a master, for sure. Especially Gen 1. You know, Gen 1, it's easy to abuse. Facts. You got a couple potions. You're good. Yeah, I got a couple hyper potions. I say you that. You got some TMs. They're, They're all gonna trash. come in handy. They're all trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I saw the last episode, man. It's a shame about that uh, Abra that you got. I really couldn't learn any of the DMs. Yeah, and, like, I was looking into it. Like, I mean, granted, I'm su like, I wouldn't be surprised if someone, like, came back later on. They were like, yo, you can do this. But, like, being the level I mean, it's you, at, I just, I don't think anything's good going to come of it. It's tough to switch train. I don't know at what level, like, Kadabra slash Alakazam learns Psychic, but, I mean, if you switch train it, I'm sure it could still learn Psychic, but, I mean, that's that's a lot of hassle if you wanted to go through that. It really is, and, <laughs> and like, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I'll switch train and stuff, but, like, like, I mean, take this, for example, he's going to teleport straight away, so it's, yeah. that's kind of useless there, but... Like, oh, it's a shame your Dratini doesn't have wrap still. That movie's broken in this gen. Yeah, especially with it having, like, Thunder Wave. Yeah, Thunder Wave's nice, too. Like, I mean, that's, like, instant, like, all right, game over. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. But, eh, oh, great. Okay, there you we go. You gotta love these, these graphics in Pokemon Yellow, though. I haven't really played Pokemon Yellow too much or seen too much of it. I mean, I have played it, obviously, but it's been a while. But seeing these colored sprites and stuff, it's definitely a refresher from, you know, Pokemon Red and Blue. Oh, 100%. Like, I remember, uh, like, in Pokemon Red and Blue, like, everything was, like, tinted a shaded color. Yeah. Uh-huh. I actually think I did this last episode, to be honest with you. What, got <laughs> to this point in the episode? Yeah, I think I think I did. Did I actually go through all this? I don't remember. I don't think you did. I think you just pretty much just got most of your encounters. Okay. If I remember correctly. Okay, then we're we're golden. Then we're golden. I was I was sitting here thinking, <laughs> like, why do I remember vaguely doing this? I know I get that moment all the time. I'm like, haven't I been here before? Yeah, but I mean, it is what it is. A Weedle. Wow. Man, they got some scary high level Pokemon in here, though, for real. Yeah, that's unfortunately the case, but I mean, that just goes to show how underleveled I am right now. Oh man, you, you're you're good. Your team's your team's fantastic. You're good. <laughs> yeah, <we're... laughs> Epic foreshadowing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope not. I hope I didn't just put that into the universe. <laughs> it would be like me though. I've definitely uh, people. I'll... 
Uh, unfor <laughs> unfortunately. You know, it's just, it'd be like that sometimes. I mean, what else can you yeah. say, really? Yep. All right. I'm actually kind of worried about this Vaporeon, to be completely honest. Um, oh, of course, it goes for the Saiyan attacks. But hey, you know what? We got a little bit lucky and got the uh, Thunder Wave off, so we'll be golden, I think. Yeah, worst comes to worst, you just go out to... What is it, your Articun? Was that John Tripped? Was he John Tripped? Yeah, John Tripped. Yeah, I don't... I think he's your saving grace in this. He's he's gonna be the... He's gonna be the carrier. 100%. For like. sure. Absolutely. But, um... Now that we've covered... I just wanna know. What's up? I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. You wanna know something. I was just gonna say, I, I'm wondering if we're gonna make it to Blaine in this episode. Are, are you? Are your team is ready to take on Blaine? Is your team? I guess is what I was trying to say. Oh, probably a hundred percent no. But you know what? <laughs> let's let's. Uh, an honest man. We'll, we'll we'll see where we're at. Like I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front. Like oh, that's actually somewhat scarier than the other ones. <laughs> it is. I, trust me, wheezing is my most hated mod. I have horrible luck with wheezing's killing my mods with exploding. And like. I, I can understand that one, but uh, at the same time, I have a strong love for wheezing because when I did my uh, blue randomized sleep block, um, yep. I probably should have picked up some antidote. So uh, we'll just you have pop a full heal. I think I saw. Him. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna pop the full heal here. Hope you don't get poisoned again, though. Yeah, so I think in the future we'll just run from any potential poison types. But uh, like I was saying, in my blue sleep lock I had back in August, Weezing straight carried me. Not gonna I lie. I mean, it's a, it's a powerful mod, but unfortunately, it seems like every time I go to encounter it, it that power against me <laughs> when it blows up. <laughs> oh, wow, that's an Alakazam. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> uh, um, all right, let's go I John think, Tripp. Yeah, you gotta go straight <laughs> out to John Tripp for this one. All right, confusion. We're rocking it. We do outspeed probably because we're 16 levels higher, and this flies yeah. straight body. Yeah, for sure. Critical hit too. I don't even think it mattered. But I don't think it did either. But you know what? We'll we'll take it. We'll take all mm -hmm. the love we can get with that. Um. But yeah, so like, honestly, I I found a new respect for. Uh wheezing because of my sleep block which i think is amazing like yeah being this is one reason why i love randomizers so much it's just a simple fact like you can start to use pokemon you've never used before absolutely I, that's my favorite thing too oh we're getting an evolution hype up in here let's go i didn't know that was coming here we go kawaii is getting a little bit stronger Woo! All right, so look at uh, that beautiful thing. We're gonna do a quick cut so that way I can add this mon to the layout. Cool. We're back. Woo! <laughs> Those quick cuts. All right. <laughs> we're back into it, and we were talking about wheezing, Papa. So I was wanting to ask you how you feel about Galarian. Galarian wheezing? Um, honestly. Revive useless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can sell it, I guess. All right, we're we're actually we're gonna see what kind of okay we outspeed and stuff now, which is great. <laughs> oh, that is scary, man! You're playing a dangerous game, staying against there, staying out there in a, against an ice type. Yeah, I was. I realized that <laughs> like afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it really matters as much. Um, I don't there even know go. if we have lapras ice on speed lapras yet. action. I don't know if it does either, but still scary. Oh, that lapras is a thick boy. Okay. Look at your carry just coming in clutch, not not getting hit in confusion at all. I know. I was like, I was so proud. <laughs> You're a proud papa. But uh, as far as Galeri and Weezing goes, um, I haven't gotten to use it, but I'm I'm interested to see how it works. If that may, oh, great. Yeah, I would say that I'm probably in the same boat. Here you are in confusion again. Uh, yeah, I, I have played the games, but I haven't, I haven't, I haven't actually used Galarian Weezing myself either. So I guess I'm just basing off of looks. I definitely think it looks a little interesting for sure, but I haven't used one yet on my team either. Okay, so, so 
we're going to switch out here because that's actually not working for us at all. Yeah, you got to go back out in the carry. <laughs> Carry's going to carry you through this battle. <laughs> I low-key was thinking <laughs> of that in my head. I was like, shit. I was going to say it, and I'm like, no. Nah. He beat me too. Great too. minds think alike. <laughs> 100%. You just have that steel type love connection, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. I mean, honestly, steel type is best type. All day, every day. Yo, give me like a really good TM here, please. Please. That's, you know. <laughs> you know what? I will at least it's, teach it's, it it's to somebody. Weak coverage for somebody, yeah. All right, what's your special? You're sitting at a 53. I'm not even going to look at uh, Rhyhorn. <laughs> yeah, Doc Rye. Um, I, I low-key actually might teach it to uh, Sparky here, because with the 92 special... Yeah, that's some good coverage on him. That, and he's fast. He's a fast boy. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Or I could teach it to John... Tr <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna teach this, actually, I think, to, uh, Sparky here. Yeah, good call. I'm with it. Um, I guess it's time we get rid of Payday? Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking, too. Payday is, like, it's a cool move and concept, but I feel like you just get pennies from it, so, like... Yeah, you get, uh, five Poke Dollars for every level your pokemon is so oh, really i didn't know that yeah so with us being level uh 37 we'd get 185 poke dollars every time we used it just did that math right on top of your head like that man that <laughs> right there <laughs> i'm good with numbers i'm good with numbers not much anything yeah else, but holy that's a level 43 that's a level 43 yeah i I used to be, but, you know, I've been out of math in, in school for so long that I don't I do not do the numbers so well as I used to. Um, it's been over a decade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess for some people, it just you, you, you keep it. You don't lose it. Uh, I mean, that might be the case. I'm just, I guess you'd say fortunate. Mm-hmm. <sighs> It's a situation you get another lapras oh yeah you should be fine yeah with john trip like i was thinking for a little bit about maybe uh, of course we get paralyzed um i was thinking oh, about wow. maybe switching into uh carry for a second but then i was like no great oh geez yeah because uh i know carry could do i guess relatively well mm-hmm but like at the same time, I carry can't really take a hit. Yeah, you don't have any repels, do you? Oh, you can run away. That's good. Yeah. Luckily for us, Lapras is actually a slower boy. Mhm. Mm you know, configurably compared to other Mons, I won't say it's yep. ne necessarily like you know super slow, but. Yeah, it's a it's a thick Mon. It doesn't need its uh, stats and the speed too much. Exactly. We're, we're not trying to sweep here. <laughs> yep. Okay, so now we're... Oh, that's my chop. Oh, uh, are you stuck? I think you... I think you gotta go all the way back down in there, and you got. I got an escape rope. Oh, oh do you? Okay, yeah. well, this man's just, like, walking around, waddling around, running into a Pokemon every two steps. He's like, I got an escape rope. Okay, that was super effective. <laughs> That's scary. Oh, jeez. Okay, can't escape. Um, Swap to Sparky and then run. Or, or Sasuke, on, too. Hold on, hold on. We're going to outspeed. So we're just going to Spore. <laughs> there you go. That's a good call. Gotta love Spore. 100% accuracy. That is insane. Yeah, now if he just Waking stays up asleep. One. I know. I know. I'm saying, like, come on. <laughs> this is not working out, like... As well as I'd hope, especially, you know, we hit the Gen 1 miss. Yeah, you know I what? know, right? What is that, like 1 in 256 or something? It's something like that. Like I didn't even know that was a thing. I actually lost a Jolteon, speaking of Jolteons, 
to that. I was doing an Nuzlocke all the time, long, long time ago, mm-hmm. but I lost it to, to Gen 1 Miss. I used Thundershock. Uh, I don't even remember what, guess what Pokemon, but I knew I was on low HP. I knew I'd outspeed it and only lived at like, it only had like one HP left and I missed. And I like got super angry about it. <laughs> nobody, nobody could see it. Nobody's around to see it. It was way before YouTube or anything like that, but I was, I was pretty salty about it. I'm not going to lie. And I, I was before I even knew the Gen 1 Mitch, Miss glitch was a thing. I didn't know what it was. I was, I was like, there's no way that that just happened, you know, but it did. Okay, so I know the strat is to answer the questions. Do I? Great, he's forcing us to answer these questions. But you uh, just got to get it wrong, I guess. Yeah. If you well, want to battle him. Well, no, I, I should be able to get it right and then still go and uh, talk to him to battle. True, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because, like, not going to lie, I think the experience is going to come in handy. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, think you might be right on that one. That's a Gengar, though. Gengar kind of really blows in Generation. I mean, it does get Hypnosis and Dream Eater, but Ghost and Poison are both physical, which really stinks for him. Well, not only that, they really didn't make a Ghost-type move that can hit stuff in general. Right, true. So, like, yeah, his... not getting all the love that we sh- he should be getting. Uh-huh. The How? best thing he gets, I think, is like Hypnosis Dream Eater. Well, uh, d- don't you have to even just teach him the TM for Dream Eater? I don't think he naturally learns it. You know, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but there is that move tutor or the TM in, uh, what is that? Viridian City. Viridian City that teaches Dream Eater. Yes. So maybe that's how you do it. I mean, that, that's how I always would rock with it. I mean, it's, mm-hmm. pr- I mean, I think he, in later gens, he does learn it. But yeah, I think so. Like, I mean, we're 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 pulling on my uh, <laughs> expertise of knowledge, and that's shady at best. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, it's a crabby. I think I might be. Be careful of these things. They get stinking guillotine. I lost Pokemon to these things. Oh, there it is. I told you. And it doesn't ex- matter about levels or anything. It, he can still hit it, I think. It only matters about speed, but you did paralyze him. So I I honestly don't know how it works, but I just know even higher level mods can still be hit by it. I think it's based off the speed stat in Gen 1. Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna try. I didn't think he learned it at this lower level. They do. I lost. Oh, speaking of Nuzlocke again, is that a Mewtwo? Is that, that what I just saw? That is a Mewtwo. Oh, jeez. Okay, um, we're gonna go into the strats here. Okay. Oh, he outspeeds. Oh, yikes. I would switch back out into John Trips. I am. John Tripp. Now that we got him put to sleep, we're gonna switch yeah. out to John Trip. And we're going to Ice Beam. Ice Beam. There we go. He's down. Oh, my good. Solid team effort there. <laughs> we're, we're not switching. We're not switching. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> this man had a Mewtwo, though. Holy crap. I know, man. That's insane. Mewtwo and a Guillotine Kingler? Or a Krabby? Oh, my god. Speaking goodness. of that, I had... Um, I, I battled Blaine in my Pokemon Red, and he, he's... You know, the randomized... It's kind of weird how the Gen 1 mechanics work, but whatever their randomized TM is going to be, yeah, they, like, force that onto the Mon, their Ace. Yeah. And the randomized TM was Fisher, and so his ace had Fisher. Thank goodness it didn't connect, but that was crazy. Oh my goodness, that is insane. Yeah. I literally called it earlier in the run too when I figured out, you know, that there was that you know that glitch with the TMs and that it forces it onto their mons. I was like, somebody's gonna have Fisher. I'm calling it, and they did, or like you know, a one hit KO move, and they literally did. That's insane, though. Like it is. Holy crap, you're just going in, just trying to, like... like. Doesn't he have, like, level 50 mons, too, by the way? I think he has. Yeah, I think his aces are in the high 40s or 50, something like that. 48, something like that. So what you're saying is it does not bode well. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't. I don't know if you're going to make it to him. In the- uh, I'm going to... Oh, glad- that, I mean, it's good thing you got your rock type in there. Yeah, and I don't think... Yeah, because... Oh, does, my gosh, it did nothing. Well, <laughs> Explosion is the one we would really have to worry about. Um, mm-hmm. Because that 
being the case uh, with explosion he isn't that when they like it has your defense and all that other cr crazy I stuff I thought dude that was self destruct too uh, I might be wrong but I thought it was self destruct too I don't know if you're watching this with the point of the episodes guys fact check <laughs> us put us down in the papa space like let us know <laughs> yeah for sure that's the best way to do it. Papa Space. All right, so this Kanga's gone. I'm. That's kind of menacing. Holy cow! Holy, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I'm kind of worried, but at the same time, I don't think I am. And he's like, I'm gonna hit you three times. Yeah, comet punches with possible crit on every one, especially because in Gen One, like if you crit one, you crit them all. Yep. And obviously, crit all. There's so much broken mechanics and stuff with Gen One, but like the crits and everything too. It it really it's it's messed up. I'm not gonna I'm not even mm -hmm. gonna front. It's but I I don't know. I think with Sparky here we'll be all right. Oh yeah, he hit us four times the double slap, and Sparky still doesn't have an electric type move. Yeah, we're working on it. Yep. Slowly but surely, I think he learns Thunder Shock here before too long. I actually don't think he learns Thunderbolt. I think it's Thunder Shock and Thunder. Yeah, I, that's again. That's not good in Gen One. You know Rhyhorn or Rhydon? I tried to use them one time, and I found out in Gen One they don't learn a single stab move. Uh, not by not by level up. I'm sure yeah. by TM or something they can learn stuff, but yeah. Uh, uh, but it can learn Earthquake by TM. You can teach it that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think. I'm trying to think here. Um, I wanted to say you could get teach it rock slide, but that I don't know. I'm not sure either. I just know by level up, which when you're doing a randomizer like this, you never know what TMs you're going to get that he can learn. So a lot of the stuff, you just go off a level up moveset. Oh, man, that's, that one's even higher level. That's all right. We got our boy. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Rhyperior is going to eat it up. But, like, honestly, uh, Rhydon is actually my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Really? Mm -hmm. I, That's cool. I started, on. I started off, like, and, like, I, I don't know. Like, I've always liked bulkier set Mons. Yep. And so, like, whenever it came down to it, like, Rock was just, like, I don't know. There was, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love Golem and everything. But, like, I felt like there was a lot of need for improvement with, uh, what? with, with that set. Like, oh, great. Oh, great. Never mind. It worked out great. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately. Right. Because I was level 41 and I was like, okay, we're, we're starting to, oof. Um, if we play mm -hmm. our cards right, we actually might, uh, take on the gym in this episode. So this might be. That would be hype. This might actually either be the last episode or a really <laughs> hype ending. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's going to be a good one either way. <laughs> like, I mean, we're going to throw that out there. Mm -hmm. All right, so, oh, that's a golem. Speaking of golem, that thing is going to hit much harder with the truck. Without yeah. speed, you'll one-shot it. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Quite effective. Thank goodness, yeah. Like, yeah, but, uh, I, I feel like Golem could use a lot of work in some areas and stuff. I feel it. I never really thought of it until you brought it up, but yeah, I, I, get, I really like the, just, just from a design standpoint, I like ride on more than, uh, Golem. Don't get me wrong. I love Golem, but I think the design wise, I think ride on beats it. hundred percent, hundred percent. Of course we get feel about Rhyperior though. Oh, okay, never mind, okay. I was like, uh, sorry, I was in a very <laughs> precarious situation there for yeah, a second. Yeah, I see. Um, I see, yeah. I love Rhyperior. Uh, mm -hmm. I used him for the first time in my, uh, Heart Gold. And immediately, immediately fell in love with the Pokemon. He's such a boss, and his stat, like, 
his like ability itself what what it, what is it it's the one that powers down super effective moves like how could you Alter, not... like uh like like mega agron i guess that's what it is but uh i think that's what it is what is it all? but like it, it was <laughs> just like so power um and like uh, heart gold soul silver are my favorite games uh, I really enjoyed uh, Gen 2 in general, and when they made the remake with like the Gen 4 and everything, I felt yeah. that was the perfect game. Like, from... Fun fact, I've never played uh, Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Have you ever played Gold and S Silver or Gold or Crystal? Yes, I have played Gold, Silver, and Crystal, but the, the remakes, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, I've never personally played. I've seen a ton of people playing, but I've never played it personally. It's totally the best because like they take the crystal storyline which not gonna lie better than better than gold and silver because it, it, you know that third yeah third game always puts in that little bit of extra um mm -hmm. i think we're gonna have just enough time to take on this gym by the way uh heck yeah powerful gym leader episode that's what i'm talking about oh my gosh we're gonna get wrecked <laughs> well, we got two. We got two brains here to think about strategy, though. Hundred percent. Hopefully, hopefully it's enough. But uh, oh, Voltorb, I'm not. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. There's the level forty-eight. Holy cow! I told you. I thought they were level fifty. <laughs> Let's go. They're out there. I for, I was thinking of Pokemon Reds. That be. I don't know what the levels for. I completely forgot about that. But uh. Okay, that's self-destruct. Okay, we still ate that relatively yeah, well. Um, oh, that's oh, it's got a Moltres. That's super effective against your beast. Uh-oh. Um, and it's got... It's probably got Fire Spin, too. Which is going to be like Rat Busted Broken. Oh, boy. Are you outspeed? Wow, that's insane. Thank Nine goodness. Nine Tails is a fast boy. Okay, goodness. So, so spores, you're definitely gonna be your savior. Savior here. Actually, since I outspeed here, there's no point. In I would just out. stay in and whittle it down. And that's exactly. Maybe go for tail whips or something to lower its defense, so you don't, that's you know, have I to was... use so many quick attacks. That's what there I was thinking. There you go. Also, it's... there. All right, let's see how much a quick attack does now. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Still nothing. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness you outspeed this thing. I can't believe he had a Moltres at level 50. Are you kidding me? I know, that's probably that's the, probably the ace. And, like, how fitting. Probably. How fitting. I know. We're in the fire gym, though. The fire gym. I know. And the ace is a Moltres. Like, Thank goodness for the broken sleep mechanic in Gen 1 as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, oh, oh, Super, super potion. potion? I'm I'm okay with that. You can Super Potion for days. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. That was a lot of experience. There you go. And executor. Negator. I think it's kind of scary too. Nah, we're golden. Oh, 54. Holy, that's a level 54. Oh my god, the most MVP play of the game in this entire series <laughs> was whenever I taught Spore to Sasuke. <laughs> I know that's insane. I have Spore as a TM in Pokemon Black as well, and it is definitely clutch. Definitely. Uh, find the fastest Mon you have, that's all I can suggest. <laughs> because Sasuke is MVP! 100% <laughs> accuracy, that is broken, man. Sasuke Ooh. MVP, for sure. Holy crap, that was intense. That was a team right there, man. Level 54, Exeggutor, and wow. Moltres, that's insane. That's hype. <gasps> and you got Psychic! Are you kidding me? This is like the most hyped episode ever. <laughs> that is insane. Okay, so um, we're going to have some team modifications in the <laughs> next episode. Uh, for 100%, I would like to see if we could keep Dragonair, maybe be a Dragonite. But mm -hmm. for sure, we're going to keep Naruto. Lapras is a beast, so we need to keep Lapras. Articuno is our coverage, so that pretty much leaves us down to... Do you guys want Rhyhorn on the team, Dragonair, and Jolteon? Because we got Psychic. You already know we're adding Kadabra. So <laughs> All day. hit us up down in Papa Space. Uh, that being said, I'm going to get that all out of the way. Uh, Metamech, we're going to be closing to an end of this episode. Do you have any last words that you want to say to everybody? 
yeah um future stuff for the channel i'm not gonna exactly spoil anything but i definitely got a lot of exciting stuff coming up so you guys are definitely gonna want to make sure that you're into that and you know uh collaboratory things coming soon not just in this so Ooh, i'm excited stay tuned i want to see what comes next it's but exciting guys, stuff coming up man guys if you want to make sure you're catching all this exciting acts all this exciting action if i could just articulate for just one second y'all gotta make sure you go down the link below click on it go sub to our boy metamech make sure to ring that bell so that way you get those high facts. quality notifications facts and if you like what you see make sure to go ahead like comment subscribe over here too even who knows what's going to happen in the future <laughs> but I want to thank you, Metamech, for coming out today. I had a really good time recording this. This was an amazing. Thank you, Papa, for welcoming in. I agree 100%. Absolutely amazing. I love being a part of this. And thank you very much. 100%. So with that out of the way, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will see you guys next time. Peace.